Live life like sap, like like sap, like like sap, like money sex, You wanna live like that, like that, like that, like Money sex, Some live life like sap, like like sap, like Money sex, You wanna live like that, like that, Money sex, I want a lot of shit. Such a that Gucci that body shit. Okay. And if it's too much, putting anything in the closet shit. Salute to all y'all kings and queens out there. If you're new to this channel, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the content, share the content, get in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Salute. So y'all see the title on this one. First off, I want to give my appreciation and say salute to Glitch in the Matrix, a.k.a. Be Active. He's been one of those that's been keeping his foot on the elite's neck. Like basically on his platform, he exposing everything from battle rappers to the LGBTQ to the industry to the government, you name it. He's been doing a very good job in my opinion. And a lot of people should definitely go subscribe to his channel as y'all see right there infinite power hey man you can't do nothing but respect a man that has infinite power you know a man that has discernment i believe to be myself to have discernment as well even though we have our own differences and opinions when it comes to certain topics but he went on his platform to you know Dropped some gems the whole time. He exposed Kamala Harris, you know, whole Biden, and, you know, Obama for, you know, bringing in this new rainbow, reading rainbow bright type of uh, satanic mission that they that the democrats brought in as well as the republicans as well we got to understand that it is it, it ain't no it ain't no better evil they both evil sides in my opinion the democrats and the republicans so your votes don't count i always say don't vote because you know in my opinion your votes don't count but let me know what y'all think in the comments do y'all think y'all votes count do y'all support the Democrats or the Republicans? Or do y'all support this whole rainbow bright LGBTQ thing that's going on? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Once again, peace and love, all praise and glory to the most high God creator. Salute to all y'all kings and queens that get in attendance. So, y'all already know, without further ado, Let's get it. In addition, I must say salute to all the uncompromised ones out there, the people who, you know, taking their content and using it for their advantage for the people and showing the people the truth. Salute to all the real uncompromised creators out there that's on YouTube putting out the truth. Salute. Um, we celebrate so much that is about the pride that we have because of the progress we have made and because of the diversity and the, just the beauty of who we all are. And when I think about the role of San Francisco in this movement,
I give to you the T virus. Well, greetings to you, great leaders. I'm really looking forward to our conversation. Um, obviously, this is Pride Month, but this is a conversation that should happen every day of the week, all year round. And it is a conversation we will continue to have every day of the week, all year round. So I want to thank you and welcome you for being here. My pronouns are she and her. Shut up. And, Shut um, up. You Stop. as Move community forward. activists, you know, you all have your eyes and ears on the ground. Uh, as you know, I have been working on the issues of equality, of fairness, justice for a very long time. I am a long-standing ally of the community, and there is still so much work to be done. And. So I've asked you to join me at this table in the ceremonial office of the Office of Vice President of the United States so I can hear from you. And um, this is one of many conversations that we will have. But as we look at this movement, we've come a long way, but there's still so much work to be done. We know that we have the Equality Act that we need to get passed. We know the issue in terms of the the experiences our transgender youth are having around the country. We know, and I can go on and on down the list, that we still don't have full rights when it comes to employment, housing, what? things of that nature. So there's a lot of work to be done. And um, the president and I are very committed to all of standing as our allies, but as, as part of this movement. To all of standing as our allies, but as, as part of this movement. And that is why you probably know from the very early days of our administration, the president signed executive orders establishing exactly where we stand and also where we are prepared to stand in terms of action as it relates to equality, as it relates to fairness. So we'll get into the um, specifics, but the work that I've done, I mean, it goes back to when I was um, the district attorney of San Francisco and I established a hate crimes unit and then established in our victim services division a particular subdivision that was focused on LGBTQ um, survivors, um, understanding that we wanted to do that in a way that no one would be treated without respect and dignity or, and, and with judgment, that no one would be treated badly. Um, as you probably know, when I was district attorney of San Francisco, I created and then hosted the first trans panic defense um, training, which was to train prosecutors around the country on how to defeat the trans panic defense. There were 250 anti-LGBTQ bills around the country, and um, including prohibiting transgender youth uh, from receiving medical care and participating in sports. Um, the prohibition on transgender people being able to access a restroom, voter rights, um, our education department has extended protections to transgender youth, undoing some of the um, unfair, to say the least, um, uh, procedures and, and policy perspectives of the last head of the Department of Education. Our Veterans Affairs Department will now cover gender confirmation surgeries, and we will continue to call on the Senate to pass the Equality Act. about a constitutional...